NBC4. This is the Channel 4 News at 11. The police, of course, use dogs to sniff out drugs and explosives and track down all the bad guys. But now there are dogs that can sniff out cell phones in the cell block. Channel 4's Beverly White reports on jailhouse dogs and the former cop who trains them. Good girl. Good girl. When you think about Out. it, it's logical Out. a former cop is now training dogs to locate cell phones smuggled into jails and prisons. The phone has been removed, but the residual of the odor of the phone is still there. That's why she's sad. Retired Santa Ana police officer Harlan Lamb Lambert knows many people are jailed for months awaiting trial. He says, convicted or not, an inmate with access to unfiltered communications can easily break the law or the jailhouse rules. And you would not believe that cell phones are used by inmates to put hits on people, to bring drugs into the department, uh, intimidate witnesses, uh, buy cigarettes, whatever means for them to make extra money. In this demonstration, a four-year-old German shepherd named Sugar helps Lamb locate cell phone components hidden in a jail cell mock-up. He says prisoners dismantle phones for easier hiding or swapping of parts, but Sugar is trained to smell the aromas of a mobile handset and sit down to alert her handler. Explaining how she does it is complicated. It's just like cooking. A dog can detect different spices that you put in food. We could teach them to do that. And to ask me to, how that happened, I don't know what alerts in their, in their, in their head and their, their smelling capacity. There's more to incarceration than just the jail cell, so Lamb's dogs are trained to sniff out contraband anywhere the inmate spends time, from the library to the exercise yard. Since dog find Find cell phones by scent, all state canine training features Find coffee, well, chili pepper, even peanut butter to affirm the dog's ability to distinguish electronics. Departments of Corrections from Virginia to San Quentin have contracted Lamb Services. He says San Diego officials were skeptical until his dogs proved them wrong. They detect the odor of cell phones. They hid nine phones before we got there. They found all of the phones. This decorated police veteran left the force before cell phones exploded in popularity. But now he's come out of retirement with 19 dogs to help keep the peace. And so he advises jail visitors to leave the cell phones at home. Well, it's a felony for families to supply and give anyone a cell phone. It's a felony. They'll be arrested on a felony. In Fullerton, Beverly White, Channel 4 News.